I've always been interested in technology uh, as a young working mum, always looking for ways to make you know my life easier. Um, so I didn't start out in the technology profession, I started out in customer services and believe it or not the first computer that came into our office uh, no one else was interested in uh, and I was. Yeah, I think um, the challenges for women in IT is it's a very male dominated um, environment and it's difficult um, to be able to rise to the top in that sort of environment. A lot of women think that they need to behave like men to be successful um, and that puts a lot of, uh, a lot of the women off um, because they don't want to behave like men, they want to behave like women and, and they don't have to behave in that way to be successful. I think we're missing out on a massive uh, part of the talent pool. Um, you know, resources in technology are, are scarce. And technology is overtaking our lives and everything we do and every organisation uses technology at the moment. So women are missing out on a massive opportunity to help shape the future. Um, you know, the more women that we can have designing, building solutions for women, then the more successful a company will be. You know, women use technology now like men. They love their iPhones, they love their iPads. Um, so why not tap into that wealth of experience? Why not tap into that talent? Mm -hmm. Companies that recognise um, that, that there's a, a massive talent pool there to tap into will have a competitive advantage and women will be at the forefront of that new technology. It will be really exciting for them and I think that you know, we need to do a lot more to encourage them to, to join the profession purely for that basis. Again, it comes back to my point about male dominated. I think there's a big image problem, and it starts from a very early age. Um, you know, computers, boys, nerdy, you know, you're stuck in a room, and it's not like that anymore. We need to change that image. We need to have more schemes and programs that will actively encourage children from a, from a school age. We work with lots of local schools um, in my organisation at Barclays and we bring them into the workplace and we show them what's different. We show them that it's not sat behind a computer every day, just you know, tapping away on the keyboard. It's interactive, it's, it's ideas, it's, it's really interesting and inspiring and that will help us to attract more girls into the organisation, show them the opportunities. I, th I think it starts, it starts in school, it starts with society, it starts with you know, media, I mean we, we need more female role models, I mean most people can, can tell you off the top of their head you know, who the founder of Apple was, male, who, who the founder of Facebook was, male, but what female role models do we have, you know, how do we get them into the media? so that we can demonstrate successful women that are dealing with technology. There's lots of uh, really talented women in the organisation and we need to make sure that that message is being put across. And I also think we need to have um, targeted um, recruitment and, and talent programmes. Um, organisations like my own have targets, um, have balanced scorecards that will actively promote um, women in the workplace and that's really really important. Um, I think I'd say go for it, you know, have a go, it's, you know, it really can be exciting, um, you can be successful, um, they could be at the beginning of something really exciting. Uh, technology is going to take over our lives um, in everything that we do, that's how we're going to take organisations forward. More and more it's about you know, um, how you can make things cheaper, easier, quicker. How are we going to do that in companies today? It's got to be technology. It's got to be re reducing the amount of uh, manual activity um, to make things faster and more efficient. So technology is going to be at the forefront of that. And the more women that are involved in that, the more successful they're going to be and the, the more successful the company and the organisations are going to be.